Shalom brothers and sisters. So Medvedev, never one to disappoint, made another threat to America and on the anniversary of 9-11. Putin's allies' ominous threat of nuclear 9-11 ahead of the attack's anniversary. Dmitry Medvedev, chairman of Russia's Security Council and an ally of Putin, suggested that the United States could soon be subjected to an attack in the vein of September 11, 2001 but with nuclear strikes only a day before the anniversary of the attacks. On Sunday, he made a post to his official Telegram account, calling it a few words on the eve of 9-11, so aimed at America. In it, he derided the U.S. for what he called arrogance and disgusting narcissism among Western nations, its universal arrogance on any issue. Near the end of the post, he made the ominous prediction that the U.S. would suffer another 9-11 attack, but with nuclear or biological components, without suggesting outright that Russia would be the nation to launch the attack. I don't want to forebode, but the U.S. will see that at some point terrorists will launch another 9-11 attack, but with a nuclear or biological component, he wrote. Or, even worse, one of the leaders of nuclear countries will lose his nerve and make an emotional decision to use a weapon of mass destruction, especially since the nuclear club is constantly expanding and a significant part of it is not bound by any obligations. And then, that would be it. The end of the ball game. there will only be to collect money for a new monument in the neighborhood of Ground Zero at best. Hectic. But again, saying exactly what we all know is coming, what people with rapture dreams and visions have seen and, and foreknown, all these things are literally at the door. Kim Jong-un doesn't feel bound by anyone, so much so that he's given full authority to his military to go ahead and use nukes even without his authority. So, I mean, come on. Could they be referring to North Korea and helping them prepare for an attack on America? Could it be Iran who doesn't give a damn about anybody or any conventions or any rules that is also willing to attack America? It could be so many different ways that Russia could handle this because essentially Russia and China want America gone. But it would be intelligent to use their children to do it. Again, we have no fear in this situation. Fear is not of God. We have our hope in Jesus Christ and our blessed hope that he comes to collect us soon. And again, lots of people have had the dream. When the missiles come down, we go up. So there's that as well. But you know what? No matter what, even if those missiles land right here in my backyard, to live is Christ and to die is gain. I have no fear of what man can do to me. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.